All right. I might be Zen Rose's next number one big fan. I've been playing around with the tool. I've known this existed for a couple of months now, but I just haven't really done a whole lot of research on it. And man, this thing is super powerful. And so you'll see, I have all these uh, links that I've just been seeing what happens when you scrape it. And so real quick, sorry, getting into this too fast. Zenrose is a no code scraping software that comes preloaded with uh, rotating proxies. And it can do a lot of anti-bot scraping or well, like anti-bot protections to scrape data. And it also parses the data for you, which is super awesome. It doesn't work every single time. And honestly, when I'm talking about that, it doesn't work like 10% of the time, but every other time it's freaking amazing. And so you'll see, I ran all these tests here to see what would work. So basic just means that I have it turned on, but I didn't, I haven't done anything. Like I didn't parse it. I'm not rendering the JavaScript. I don't have a premium proxy turned on or any of these things. So auto parsing is just something that you just need to do in order to make sense of the data. Rendering the JavaScript, it costs more for you in Zenros to render the JavaScript, but for websites that have anti-scraping protection, you're going to have to do it. And then premium proxies, this is also for websites that have um, anti-scraping protection. You just need to do that over here too. And so uh, don't use antibot though. Like every single scrape, if you're using clay, every single scrape in Zenros comes with antibot. So don't do that. So anyway, we ran all these tests and just look at the freaking data that we get. So you look at how you look at zoom info and is this the one that worked? So you, it's kind of fun to explore because you just have to look through and see what you get. But this is the zoom info page and we've got like the intent, like we know that sales loft has, is showing intent for cybersecurity. We know that they're private. We have some stuff about their org chart. We have some technology use stuff. We have, Let's see, a description, acquisitions that they've made, their founding year, comparably data, I don't really care about that, total funding amount, all this stuff, right? And this, Zenros is ridiculously, ridiculously cheap. So you can enrich with funding amount from Zenro, from Zoom Info. Pretty crazy. Built with works the same way, except I found that you have to do it without parsing the data. I don't know why, but now with Zenros, you can basically open up the whole programmatic page site and then basically see like you have to search the data, I guess, but this is way cheaper. See, they've got HubSpot installed and then that'd be kind of, oh, they're using Pardot. That's crazy. Okay. I don't know. Um, what else should we see? Right. So you, you can see that they have technologies installed and you could just do a lookup, see how they have Hotjar right there. And so if you go to the built with page, you'll see hot jars. This is a really, really, really cheap way to get built with data. Then what do we have next? It's like, this is honestly feels like Christmas to me. Crunchbase. So you need to use, I'm pretty sure you just need to use the parse and the proxy. Yeah. Crunchbase probably has the craziest information that you could scrape publicly. It's awesome. So some of that stuff comes up like that, but then you have like, it's a for-profit business. You have some built with tech, but it's just what they're showing on their side. So you know, who cares? Oh, number of companies using. I didn't even see. I didn't even see that. That's cool. Okay. So then you have like Aptopia data and you know, like, okay, they're on iTunes. They got nine monthly downloads apparently. But this is, I mean, this is for, yeah, I don't even know what this is. Okay. So anyway, then you got like, you just got all this information. Oh, similar companies. This is, I think is the most interesting. Nope. I guess not. Where did competitors go? Org similarity, org list globality okay i don't know quota path okay cool so i guess these are like the competitors page dip even though they're not really that great of semrush data anyway look through it yourself i'm telling you it's like christmas just just look through it you're gonna love it you can scrape the linkedin ads library this i'm gonna work on this you can use css selectors you can use css selectors in zenro so i'm gonna play with that one for the linkedin ads library but you can get all the data. Nope, that's Apollo. We'll get there soon. Don't use parse, but you can get all of this data here. So I can get some information about what kind of ads they're running. See like this, this data right here is information on their ads. And then if you go into the links, you'll also see like, if you were to take this and then concatenate a LinkedIn ads library link, this will lead you to an ads page. And so you could use this to scrape more ads with Zenros. 
I'd use Appify for this, but I just wanted to see if it would work. Glassdoor, same thing. Great, great freaking data. Sometimes you, you have to go for like a little bit of a, a Easter egg hunt to find this stuff, but see how we have the ratings in here and everything. And so I was just literally just spending time just to look at it. So these are reviews, right? <laughs> Laid off after three months. Sorry, bud. <laughs> What'd they give? Yeah, a two. Yeah, yeah, all right, sure. I just love that. Great until the acquisition. Jeez, murderers over there. Okay, so some of this stuff, like it's parsing it for you. You just need to figure out what data you want to get and then you'll be able to pull it back. They've got Glassdoor, Captera. I don't have to go into all of this for you, but basically, again, see, I have to go for a little bit of a treasure hunt, but see how we got their their aggregate rating on Captera. This was, guys, this is like not even half a penny. We're talking about like fractions of pennies to get this data. Indeed, you can get find all the jobs that they're hiring for and see they're hiring for a sales development representative, revenue instructional designer. Amazing. And then you could also get the whole Indeed page as well with everything that it lists on there. If, and then you could do a search on it if you really wanted to. Then you can get Owler.com. That stuff's great. You could scrape Gartner. You could scrape Comparably. I didn't really care for that, but I could do it. Yep. Um, similar web, see, this is an example of you have to use the JavaScript loading and you have to use a proxy and then it doesn't parse similar web for some reason. So a, like a, a really easy thing that you could do is, um, and I'll just, I'll just show you for, I mean, if you're still watching by this point of the video, I hope you're still interested. There's a bounce rate somewhere. Hang on. We're just. I don't know why it's not searching inside of this. Yeah, I don't know why it's not searching inside of this and I don't want to go crazy looking for it. Oh, oh, this is still comparably awkward. All right. Sorry. If you're new to the channel, I'm sorry. Here we go. Cool. So see how we have the bounce rate right here. So now what we can do is we could say we could grab this and then we could just make a formula or you could use AI, but you could also do things like this where you could say, get all the data after this sentence and before bounce from, and then we'll just insert Java proxy and then we want body text. And so for everything else, this is gonna do nothing. But for the similar web one, yeah, see how we got that 1.9? See, nailed it, right? Uh, did I show you, it could scrape Apollo too. I'm not sure if I showed you that, that one's pretty interesting. And so I always wanted to see if it runs with basic because this is the absolute cheapest and this is ridiculously cheap to run this. And so see how we could get the basic over here. Oh, but see, it's not parsed. Yeah, I guess you want it parsed. Actually, that's still free too. So we have all of this information here from Apollo, right? I don't want that. That dynamic IDs. Where'd it go? See, it's kind of like a treasure hunt, but it's still freaking amazing what it comes back with. Here it is, profile data. See how we have all of this? We got alumni, we got people, we got their revenue. We have their keywords. This is great for feeding into AI. We've got their industry. We have their location founded year, description, website, phone number, social links, all perfectly parsed for us, technologies, but who cares about that? We can scrape build with for that. Employee metrics, this is the most interesting one. If you go down here and then you hit departments, see how it says start date, February 1st, 2024. Then we have all these departments and look, it says accounting, retain six, churn zero, new, like you can get their department growth things here. Like that's crazy. What else? Similar companies. Again, if you're looking for competitors, this is really great. Job postings from the Apollo page, total funding amount. That's amazing. Retail location counts. Awesome. Yeah. So again, a good thing I showed you Apollo. That one's freaking great. Similar web G2. It'll kind of get G2. So again, you're just going to get like all this data and yeah, I got to work on G2 maybe. Um, and what's this one? Oh, I just wanted to show it also scrape like Walmart pages. So you can come in here. It's like, this is a tomato, right? And so 
check it out. If you ever need to scrape anything, Zenrose is great. And I just had an idea. I haven't tried this, but I wonder if it can scrape LinkedIn. This is why you have to have a custom LinkedIn URL so you can just do this live on videos. Oh, we got errors for parsing and proxy and just a parse. So you need to, so the, the, rendering the JavaScript is the most expensive thing that you have to do, but let's see what we got back. Cool. Oh, so this is an article I wrote. Cool. This is an article I wrote. Okay. Why is it scraping so many articles? That's kind of funny. Okay. So this is me. This is my image. Awards. Great. Great. Address. Great. Alumni of. Oh, so it got my school. All right. So it's hashing job titles now. This is a new update that's coming out with LinkedIn. But it got, it got quite some good information. Is that this one? Yeah, it was this one. Interaction follows. Oh, it has my follower count. Cool. It has a little bit about my description. Uh, oh, see, yeah, it doesn't have all of my experiences, but this could work well if you want to double check really, really cheap that somebody still works at a company that could work there. Uh, but yeah, it's blocking all this data now, which kind of stinks. So anyway, uh, yeah, check out Zenros. It's really, really cool.